Good morning. Let us pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we bring you our praise and thanks this morning. You are our Father, our Creator, the Creator of all things. Your world was perfect, but we have spoilt it, and we are now facing the results of our misuse. Lord, we recognise that we are in your hands. We thank you for the sunshine that cheers us, the rain that refreshes us, and the flowers and birds that give us hope that spring is here. We see your hand, Lord, in it all. Our world needs you even more now as we face this pandemic. We try to manage on our own, but we accept that we need your help. We grieve for the vast numbers of people who have died, but thank you for those many thousands who have come through and been able to return to their families. We thank you for the many blessings we have already seen, the volunteers that have come forward to help at the front line, the care and generosity of neighbours and friends. We thank you for the technology that has connected families and especially those who are lonely and not able to get out. So many people, Lord, learning new skills that they never knew could be possible. We thank you, Lord, for the doctors and nurses who are going over and above their call of duty, working long hours and some with little protection. For the carers, the council workers, the shop workers and all those who are giving their all to provide the services we need to survive even in this lockdown situation. Protect them, Lord, and give them all strength, comfort and peace of mind, day by day and moment by moment. Let them know how much they are appreciated. We are now hearing that children may be suffering from a form of the virus. Please be with parents and their children. May they receive the help and advice they need. Put your healing hands upon them and bring them through to full health again. We thank you too, Lord, for all those who are working on developing a vaccine and also tests for the virus. We can see your hand in this too, Lord. May they be used by you to bring help to our nation and to the world. We are encouraged and amazed at how quickly they are progressing, countries working together for the common good instead of battling against each other. We especially thank you, Lord, for our own church family and bring each one before you as you know their special needs. Give them peace, healing and comfort. Let them know they are not alone. They have you to lean on and their church family members to call on. We praise you for the support and encouragement being shared through messages, cards, phone calls and help with errands and shopping. We pray that in these difficult times, many will turn to you for help. It cheers us, Lord, to see so many churches that are bringing your word to so many people through various kinds of media. Many people who have probably never been into a church or thought about the God who loves them. Perhaps they have been searching for answers and comforts online and have come across a service, a song, a message. Speak to them, Lord. I pray that through these media, many will come to know Jesus as their saviour and that churches throughout the country will be ready to welcome them, guide them and nourish them when they are looking for a fellowship to join. May we continue to lead on you, Lord, lean on you, Lord. Keep us strong and looking to you for strength and comfort, caring for others in whatever ways we can. We long for the time, Lord, when we can be together with our friends and family and especially be able to worship together in our churches. In Jesus' name I ask these things. Amen.